in this next set of videos, what we're going to do is we're going to actually take a look at some of the tools in the family editor there that are used for both conceptual massing as well as family development. So I'm going to come in and just start a new family. And for this series, we're going to continue to use generic model, which does not have a hosting behavior. It's not ceiling based or face based, floor based, any of those. We're just going to use a generic model because we're just going to play around with some of the form creation tools. Okay. And then I'm just going to tile my windows which is WT and then I'm going to hit zoom A to zoom all so that just so I can see what we're looking at here and we're going to be focusing on these tools right here in this video we're going to look at extrusion extrusion is one of the most basic form creation tools that you'll use quite often so it's good to have a understanding of this tool I'm just going to select that and what I want us to do is I actually want to just lay out the requirements we can use our rectangular tool and what I'm going to do is just sketch any extrusion that we create has a couple requirements most importantly it needs to be a closed loop form so rectangle would work and inside of it I'm actually going to use my line and I'm actually going to I can sketch another closed loop within it to represent you know a void within my rectangle and I'm actually just going to go ahead and complete this realizing if I wanted to go ahead and give this form a depth to extrude right now it's going to be one foot we you know we can change this to 10 feet for example and we can click OK and if I come over here to my 3d view and take a look now you're able to see what we've created here. We've pretty much gone ahead and created our extrusion from the rectangle and the form work that we created within it becomes a void as they both operate as closed, closed loops allowing me to complete it. I can assign parameters to it and go on ahead and continue to develop my form here but this just kind of covers I do want to click on this extrusion and when I select my extrusion and come over to my properties palette I want to just point out what you're seeing in the properties menu as far as continued you know modification of your form for extrusion we have a start and an end point so I can begin to I can modify it right here just by changing that to five feet and click apply and you'll see my form work you know begin to mo to modify um, so you can ex you can actually edit that through the properties menu as well if you come up to edit extrusion you'll see that we're reduced back to the sketch line work that we began with and created our closed loops originally from so here in this video I just wanted to make sure that we understand you do have to have a closed loop any time that you if we try to create a form that does not have that isn't enclosed Revit's gonna give us an error lines must be closed loops so sometimes we can kind of find our way around the program and figure out what we're doing wrong with the tool by trying to read and better understand those errors but I just wanted to quickly um, explain that you know that's the basic requirement here with the extrusion tool and we can control the depth of that extrusion in the options bar or afterwards with the properties menu I hope this video is helpful as you begin to create forms both for families as well as continuing in your conceptual massing modeling.